India is one of the unique countries where each challenge is a unicorn opportunity. Do you agree? You look at each one of you. You are spending 1.5 hours to 2 hours traveling on a daily basis. Roughly 10% of your life you are spending in commute. Some of you see it as a challenge. How does the world see it? What is the reason for this uh, commute getting longer? Look back, India has been very proud. Our urbanization rate is very high. Because of urbanization rate, how does the world market see India? You look at Sensex. Last 10 years, Sensex has given a return of 16%, giving a higher value to India. You look at last five years, Sensex has returned close to 8%. So on one side, we see the problem what we are facing are many challenges, but India is a land of opportunity where you see there are going to be multitude of unicorns coming out of each challenge. Urbanization, right? If you look at urbanization, transportation is one of the top three challenges to the urbanization. Each country is handling transportation in its unique way. The most, most of the solution what, uh, with the digital connectivity and uh, all these confluencing into a single node, mass mobility as a service is emerging as one of the key unique innovative solutions. Critics, critics may argue this mass has not propagated properly. If you look at the adaptation in uh, Europe and other developed countries, mass has uh, made minor uh, impact, 5 to 10 percent. Some of us will feel Will India really adapt to mass? There are infrastructural challenges. There are uh, our in, we are having inadequate support in terms of uh, financing to provide a robust mass architecture. What, how do we see this evolving? Is India going to have its own unique story? Let's look back. What has happened in the self-drive market? In a developed country, self-drive is only a trade-down market, which means I will own a, a 15 lakhs plus vehicle, but when I travel, I travel in an object of mobility vehicle, which is just a hatch or sedan. Whereas if you see in India, Indian, mar Indian market is very unique. I was speaking to the Zoom car and DriveZ partners. How they are, why the valuation is high for a self-drive market? Self-drive market in India is a trade-up market. I will have, say, an Alto or Swift, but when I go for a self-drive during the weekend, right? I want to show or I want to realize my aspiration. So the way how self-drive market has evolved which is unique, it is not like any other country. Similarly, what you will see, mobility as a service has a potential to evolve into a bigger innovative segment. The opportunity, what you are going to see, how is it going to shape up? If you look at the y-axis, on the bottom is uh, the own vehicle, which is object of desire where I feel aspirational to own a vehicle. On the other side, with the advent of Uber, Ola, and other solutions, the shared economy has picked up. On the x-axis, what you see is, uh, is the mass going to be dominated by ICE vehicles, internal combustion engine vehicle, or it is going to be electric vehicle. India is going to evolve in a unique way. If you look at in a developed country like US, the uh, electric vehicles are evolving in the lower most quadrant, in the personal segment. If you look at India, most of the electric vehicles today are being used by commercial players, so in the object of mobility segment. What are the other key differences 
which are going to shape up the Indian market. So Tesla, most of his offering, if you look at, are focused on the driver-centric features. Whereas in Indian mobility, if you look at, the features are going to be on the passenger-centric uh, options. The, it's more features are provided for the commuters. When the features are focused on commuters, it is a great opportunity. You are not looking at uh, targeting one customer. You are potentially targeting three customers. So it is a great opportunity for all of us as collaborative platform. What can we do to meet the needs of three people? Who will dominate the Indian mobility segment? If you look at uh, financial market, even though Citibank, HSBC, many uh, MNCs were there, finally it is dominated by ICICI, HDFC, the Indian financial firms. What you will see going uh, forward is even though bigger MNCs, bigger Ubers, uh, Ubers and likes are going to be there, it's unique Indian solutions are going to evolve, which are not applicable in developed countries, but specifically unique innovative offering for the Indian customers. Other key difference what we will see is whether it is going to be a OEM-led solution or whether it is a collaborative platform. Tesla, if you look at, most of the solutions are OEM-led sol solutions. Whereas if you look at India, there are multitude of uh, uh, startups, whether it is a Lithium or whether it is a Blue Smart, whether it is Mahindra itself, you see multitude of startups emerging in this segment. It is not the OEM, but it is going to be the collaborative effort of many startups which is going to shape up e-mobility. How should you see this as a business? There is a unique business opportunity here. This is almost like a doctor profession. By all of us participating in electric mobility, you are not only realizing your business potential, it is also a societal cause. If all of us transform ourselves into electric mobility, you are doing two services. It's almost like a doctor profession where you are doing service to the society as well as realizing your business opportunity. We at Mahindra are doing multiple uh, mobility experiments. One such is uh, Glide. Here, we are trying to redefine the way office commute happens. There are close to 15 mobility-centric features which makes the commute uh, very comfortable. The CVP, what we offer to our commuters is clean, connected, and com convenient. The platform, what we are developing, is having, th this we call it, wheel of experience. It has four components. Component one is where you focus on your health. There are multiple action verbs. In each one of them, we identify multiple startups like you, and we try to improve the lifestyle of our commuters. On one side, you have health. We classify this into multiple action verbs. How do you breathe? Because when you are doing office commute, the key thing is the freshness quotient. The way you leave the house, you need to reach the office at the same freshness level. Today, the commute offered is inadequate. It is a great opportunity for IoT startups to come and partner with us to give solutions to have the fre same freshness quotient. If you look at productivity, we had partnered to enhance your productivity what we have done is, how do we merge office and home? Today, if you look at the commute, you are in office, then you commute, then you come back home. Commute is breaking the flow. In our productivity module, what we are trying to do is how to seamlessly integrate office and home, and commute is just in incorporated seamlessly into this. So we have video conferencing facilities, we, have, we partner with uh, Cisco's and Vodafone's of the world. The technology will enable 
it is almost like office on wheel. On the other side, we also have entertainment platform. Most of us, when we return home from office, we would like to refresh ourselves. There are many content partners who we are partnering with. The last one is efficiency. Depending on the time, sometime you would like to entertain yourself, sometime you want to educate yourself. We are bringing in multiple uh, educational partners to partner with us. It is just to enrich during the commute. So by, apart from this, we are doing multiple last mile uh, experiments, last mile commute experiments. So we offer multiple opportunities for all the startups to collaborate with us, whether it is in terms of mid-mile commute or last mile commute. I think, Kanan, you have uh, a very exciting video also for us. So tell us a little bit yes. about it. Should we just play it for the audiences? Yeah, that'll be nice. So we have a very interesting product from Mahindra, if I'm not mistaken, being out in the market very soon. So can we please have the video played? Here's an interesting idea. For those who love innovation, for those who want to do many things, experience a lot of things, and do it all while consuming less. Wouldn't you choose that? Imagine a ride that is defined by premiumness, comfort, and privacy, which entertains you with curated streaming content like news, music videos, yoga, motivational videos, well, a lot more, and added features like video conferencing, which makes your work seemingly better along with your personal space. This idea is for you to live well, to make your commute more than it should be, to help you make most of your me time, and make your ride smooth, safe, and reliable. A glide. Here's the idea that is supposed to change a lot of things. Here's the idea that will make your everyday a bit different. And we would like to call it the innovation you deserve. Innovation in connectivity. Innovation in analytics. Innovation in content and experience. At TechSparks 2019, we invite you to collaborate and grow with Glide. To innovate further, meet our core team and grow with Glide. Ride smart, go electric with Glide, a Mahindra initiative.